Hi everyone, I hope you're ready for another maths fluency session. So today we're going to be looking at multiples of five and it's going to be a little bit different to last time's session because today I'm going to introduce you to the counting stick. Now some of you, especially if you're in oak class, will already know about the counting stick. However, some of you may not have seen it before. Now, one thing that is important to remember is that the counting stick takes quite a lot of time. So I haven't included any of the games that we played last time with the multiples of two. However, you can still play those games. You can still do the playing cards. You can still do the rock, paper, scissors, all with multiples of five, just like you did with multiples of two. So have fun with it. And also, don't forget your times tables rock stars. Let's have a look. So, like I said, today we're going to be looking at everything to do with multiples of five. So, to begin with, we're just going to have a go at chanting multiples of five up to ten. Are you ready? Let's give it a go. One times five is five. Two times five is ten. Three times five is fifteen. Four times five is twenty. Five times five is twenty-five. Six times five is thirty. Seven times five is thirty-five. Eight times five is forty. Nine times five is forty-five. Ten times five is fifty. And back down again. 10 times 5 is 50, 9 times 5 is 45, 8 times 5 is 40, 7 times 5 is 35, 6 times 5 is 30, 5 times 5 is 25, 4 times 5 is 20, 3 times 5 is 15, 2 times 5 is 10, and 1 times 5 is 5. Could you have a go now at doing this on your own? Let's go then. And back down again. Well done, that was so good. Now you're ready for the really tricky bit. We're gonna learn your multiples of five off by heart using a counting stick. Let's have a look at our counting stick. So, when we look at multiples of five, on this end, zero times five we get, yes, that's right, zero. And we've got 10 spaces on our counting stick. So 10 lots of five is, that's right, 50. Now, what multiplication are we learning? Yes, that's right, fives. Now, could you double five? So if one times five is five, if we double it, two times five is, that's right, 10. Now here's a trickier one. Can you double 10? Yes, that's 20. Now, is it gonna go here or here? Yes, you're right, it's going to go here. And you knew that because you know that multiples of five end in a five and a zero, and they make a pattern. So the number 20 couldn't possibly go there. Now, this is a really tricky one. Could you double 20? Yes, that's right, 40. Eight times five is 40. 
So if four times five is 20, we double it and eight times five is 40. Now this one, this is the key. This is really important to know. What number could it be? Hmm. That's right, 15. And you knew that because it's five more than 10 and five less than 20. Well done. Now this is probably gonna be the trickiest one I'll give you. Can you double 15? That's right, it's 30. So if three times five is 15, we double it, six times five is 30. Now this one in the middle, this is the nose number. So when we come to this one, you always see me touching my nose. And there are a couple of ways of working this out. You can think about what number is five more than 20 or five less than 30. But you could also think of what number is halfway between zero and 50. And the great thing about maths is that you'll get the same answer. No matter how you work it out, the answer is, that's right, 25. So finally, we've got two left. What comes here? That's right, 35. And what comes here? That's right, 45. Well done. Now, are you ready to count with me? Yes, fabulous, come on then. Right. Zero, five, ten, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and back again. 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, 0. Well done. So we don't need zero. Let's wave bye bye to zero. Bye. And also, we know what goes on at this end, 50. So let's wave bye bye to 50. You ready to count again? Let's go. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And back down again. 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, zero. Now it's your turn. That's the last time I'm going to help you out. It's your turn to start chanting. Can you give it a go? Three, two, one. Well done. Did you follow the mouse as it was going round? It's fabulous. So we know what goes at this end. That's right, zero. And at this end, that's right, 50. And the multiple we are learning is five. Yes, let's wave bye-bye. Are you ready to count again? Okay, three, two, Well done. Now, what was the multiple that we were learning? Ah, yes, five, okay. And double it to get 10. Let's wave bye-bye to 10. We don't need that one. So what went at this end? Ah, yes, zero, well done. And at this end? Yes, 50. What if we just removed? 
That's right, 10. Halve it. Five. Well done. Are you ready to count? Three, two, one. Back down again. Well done. What number did we just remove? Ah, yes, 10. We double it to get to 20. So let's wave bye bye to 20. And what was double 20? Ah, of course, 40. Let's wave bye bye to 40. What number did we just get rid of? Ah, that's right, 40. And half of 40 is 20, that's right. Half of 20 is 10, correct, well done. And half of 10 is 5, well done. What goes at this end? 50. And what goes at this end? 0, well done. Are you ready to start counting again? Remember, follow the mouse and tell me the number that it lands on. Three, two, one. And back again. Well done. Now, do you remember what was special about this number? It was the key, wasn't it? This one is the key. So let's wave bye-bye. We don't need that one anymore. And what's double the key? Yes, 30. Let's wave bye-bye. What number have we just got rid of? That's right, 30. And what is half of 30, the key? That's right, 15. What goes at this end? Yes, zero. And at this end? Yes, 50. What multiple are we learning? Yes, five. Double it. That's right, 10. Double that. That's right, 20. And double that. Yes, 40. Are you ready to start counting? Three, two, one. And back again. Well done. Now this number was in the nose, wasn't it? So, shall we wave bye-bye? Bye-bye nose number. And actually, I don't think we need these two anymore. So shall we wave bye-bye again? Bye! So, what was this number? Yes, that's right, it's the nose number, 25, it's in the middle. What did we just get rid of here? 35, correct. And um, which number comes just before 50? That's right, 45. Now, what were we starting at? Zero, correct. And what comes here? 50, yes. What multiple are we learning? Yes, five. And double it, 10. And double that, 20. And double that, yes, 40. Could you halve it? Yes, 20. And halve it again, 10. And halve it again, five. Well done. What was the key number? What was the key? Yes, it was 15. And double that, 30. Well done. And what was the nose? That's right, 25. I think you're ready to start counting on your own. Three, two, one. Come back down again.
Well done. We're going to go have a go at this one more time, but you're going to have to watch out for my mouse. It's been a little bit tricky. So I'd like you to follow it and say the number that it lands on. It might try and trick you out. Are you ready? How did you do? How did you find it? It can be a little bit tricky and I know Oak class found it really tricky the first time that I did it but the more that they practiced the more that they did it and they love the challenge of trying to figure out where my finger in class but the mouse on your screen was pointing to and it's really good fun and sometimes it even got to the point where I would do a couple of jumps to see if I could catch them out. No matter what, whether they got it right or wrong, it always made them giggle. So I hope you've had fun with that activity today and you've enjoyed learning a bit more about your multiples of five. I'll see you again soon where I'll be teaching you all about your multiples of three, which is very exciting. Have a lovely day. Bye.